Well, hey everybody, Scott here, back on the Whaler. 1977 restoration project. And uh, in the last episode, we went ahead and uh, we removed all the teak. In this episode, we're gonna go ahead and clean it. Fast, easy, not a lot of work, simple products to use. Uh, check it out. Oh, also, make sure you subscribe to the channel, you share it with your friends, click the bell so you're notified about all my upcoming videos. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it. All right, folks, here's three boards that I've already done. And this one on the right, you see how it's kind of reddish and burgundy-ish? That's what happens after you're done washing it and rinsing it. These two on the left were the same, but you can see they're a little blonder on the edges. I just squirted them down with water. I hope I didn't make a mistake, but in any case, I don't think so. You can always redo what you're doing. But um, that's basically what it's going to look like when it's washed, cleaned, and uh, wet. When it dries out, it totally turns blonde. You can see on the left here, it started to dry out, and you can see how the edges start, are starting to turn totally blonde. Well, that's going to happen to this large one as well. So I'm going to let them sit here and bake in the sun a little bit, and we will show you uh, the result when it's all dry. Well, there you go, folks. You see how it's getting blonde? All right, we're going to take a look at these uh, in a little while and see how, make sure they're uniform. You can see this one right here, you know, there's quite a bit of black in that center board. Can I make that lighter? I don't know. Possibly. So I may want to hit it again. What I am using, just so you guys know, this isn't real professional. I should have had it set up for you, but snapping teak new, okay? This is uh, formula number one. Okay, and I'll show you how you use this later, but you put it on, lightly scrub, and get just some of the dirt off, most, you know, most of it, but uh, it's very light scrubbing, not a lot of work, okay? But you put that on, it turns dark brown, you scrub some of the dirt off, and you'll see it just come right off. If there's any old varnishes or anything on your teak, it comes right off, okay? Then we go ahead in, into this one here, which is the number two, and once you scrubbed uh, number one slightly, you put this on, number two, and you scrub a little bit harder to get the dirt out, and this kind of bleaches it as well, and that's why you end up with this blonde teeth. And that's what you want, unless you're gonna use a Sickens product or something like that, and you want a dark, dark teak. I want golden teak, so it's gonna. You'll see it. it I've got a product that uh, most people don't use that I've been using for 30, 40 years now, probably. Anyway, that's what we've got. See how it turns blonde? And that's what I wanted to point out. All right, folks, that looks pretty good. Very blonde. We've got a little, you know, dark. In this one here but you know that's character I'm just gonna leave it I could try to re-hit it you know maybe I will I mean this crack right here see that I, I've left some varnish or whatever that is so this particular one I'm gonna hit again all right um, this one here has a little bit of darkness here but I, I really think it's insignificant it is gonna darken up when I do put the uh, Dexel lay on it, but I am going to go ahead and hit this one again Okay, folks now I'm going to tackle this one right here. I was going to show you this little Bit of uh, varnish I've left here or whatever it is. I'm not sure what's on this wood It's been many many years since it's been done um, But in any case I've noticed the edges are not good. I thought I scrubbed them adequately no and I really put some elbow grease into that I mean you know and I'm, I'm over exaggerating elbow grease but um, definitely I didn't do it well enough and I'm looking at all three pieces and sure enough they still have finish on, the, on all, of, all the sides for example this one's really bad I didn't get it off at all so same with the large pieces here as well. So I'm going to hit them all over again. And um, 
I will give you an example of one that's totally dirty and I start from scratch. But you can see that one too. I'm just going to hit the edges with this. Now, I will say, my hand is starting to burn. Um, these are a little bit damp and that bleach agent will burn you. And I should have had gloves on. There's just a little bit left. And I'm going to go wash my hands right now. There's very little moisture on there. And that little bit of moisture, I don't see any, it's not changing colors yet, but this will get totally bleached white if I don't wash my hands soon. All right, folks, here we go. Here's our teak. As you can see, pretty dirty. It hasn't been done in a long time, years. It's mostly bare on this particular one. You can see we have a door here. It looks like there was a finish on here, but it's totally worn off. The framing, the framing still has a finish on it. You can see a little mold, <laughs> all kind of stuff going on. So, you know, we got little trim pieces, all right? But I'm gonna show you how this stuff works. You know, we've got the uh, Snappy Teak, Snappy Teak New. This is uh, formula number one and formula number two. This is pretty simple stuff to use, however you want to wear gloves. I should have sleeves on, but I don't. Uh, it's pretty hot out today, like 90 degrees. So I'm in the shade trying to deal with this, but what you want to do is just get the wood wet, okay? And this is pretty simple stuff, so check this out. You take the number one. You have to use a brush with number one, a different brush with number two. Do not combine the brushes. I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to do one at a time here. I'm going to put this number one on here. All right. We're just going to do that. We're going to take this brush and just smooth it out. Spread it out. Get an even cover on the whole thing. All right. It's really simple. Just get it wet. Take this number one. Put it all over there. Now, can you see what's going on? I'll turn it around this way so you can see the angle. Here's the one I haven't touched yet. It's just wet. I don't know if you can see this one, but it's turning dark brown. I'm going to leave it another minute or so. Just want to make sure you have an even coat. Okay, you let it sit a couple minutes, no more. You don't even have to go that long. What it's doing, this is a powerful detergent that brings everything out of the pores, out of the uh, grain of the teak. I don't know if you can see this, but it's literally building up here. Any type of uh, dirt, varnish, um, oils, I do not know. I have never done this. Uh, I, I don't know if it'll take off Sickens. Sickens, if you know anything about teak, Sickens is a product that came out, I don't know, 20 something years ago, which is very, very hard, like an epoxy. And I don't know if this uh, snappy teak new will take that off or not. My understanding is with the Sickens products, you have to sand it off. But the snappy teak new is long, you know, may or may not take it off. I don't know. And you give it a little scrub. It says you don't have to scrub it very hard. But you just do a little scrub on it. And it takes off a lot of that finish that's on there. All right, I'm going to hit the back end. This is actually against the council. It really doesn't even need to be done, but I'm going to clean it anyway. Hit the bottom. You never see these two sides here. These are covered. But I'm going to do them anyway. Okay, we're going to hit this again. I usually overdo it a little bit with the scrubbing because I don't want to do it a second time. 
if you have really bad teak that maybe is varnished several coats uh, maybe you have teak that's got sickens on it you may have to scrub it a few times I don't know I do not use sickens I don't use varnish I use a product that I'm going to show you later that I've been using for years now I see that there's a little it's not really uniform in color so just to save me some time I'm gonna hit this again let it sit another minute make sure I got the ends good and I'm just gonna give this another minute See if there's any additional dirt or anything I can get out. Okay, all right. That's enough. Now what I'm gonna do, I just got some on my arm. You don't want that. <laughs> It's pretty powerful stuff, so I'm going to rinse it off my arm. Okay, give this a quick rinse. And this does penetrate the wood pretty well, so you will see after you rinse it, and this, you continually get suds. See that? Watch, I'll go do the other side here. Bring it back, there's usually some suds. I'm not going to worry about that. Just going to get these holes cleared out. Okay, this is just step one. Alright, there's a rinse. That's good enough. Okay, I have now, number two is going to go on there. I have a separate brush. And number two is a clear liquid. Just go ahead and put it on there. Oops, put it on there and quickly even it out. I'm gonna hit the back side too. Really not necessary since you'll never see this, but why not? I'm just gonna clean it all off. Customer will be really happy. Okay, so here we go. I don't know if you can see the change already. You see what's going on there? Look at that. Here's a little dark spot. I'm going to just hit it, make sure I didn't miss it. This is now bleaching the wood. Can you see that? That's awesome. Just cleaning it up. Now, I usually let this sit a minute. And then you can scrub a little harder with this if you want. And this is going to even everything out. So if you see any dark spots, you can maybe hit them a little bit. They may or may not lighten up. Usually it's some stuff deep down in the grain. All right, and you can try to get it out. But then again, sometimes it is just the character of the wood. Like we have some dark stuff here, you know, and I don't know if that is something that, uh, man-made is on there? I don't think so. It could be. Okay. So here we are. That quick. And it's pretty clean. So now, once again, let's go ahead and give it a rinse. And then set it aside. You can set it in the sun or wherever you want. It can be indoors, outdoors. Um, and it will dry. When this dries, it will look nothing like this. It's going to turn totally white or totally golden. I should say. It's a golden color. Yeah, and I just think those are this dark area. I don't know, just something in uh, the grain. 
but that's it. Okay. So that's that one there. I'm going to set this here aside. I'll show you another one real quick. So here we are. Once again, see how dark that is and nasty. All right, let's go with the number one. Put a little coat on there. Grab the proper brush. Don't use the same brushes, folks. You'll have some bad chemical reaction. It won't work. Oh, this is all gooping up already, so there's definitely, it's definitely working. Okay, there it is. Let's let it sit. I just want to make sure I get the ends. Alright, there we go. Alright, you can see it's turning dark brown. We'll give that just a minute. It's going to loosen up all the dirt, all the varnish, all the oils, whatever is in there. And once again, just a very quick rub down. I usually do a little overkill, so I don't have to ever go back. It's hard to tell if you're really cleaning it with this number one because everything's so dark. But there's supposed to be very little scrubbing involved at all. But I just want to make sure. I'm just trying to pull out all the stuff inside this teak, inside those grooves, inside the grain, get it to come out. And this number one brings it to the surface. And basically, I'm just scrubbing it off at this point. Take the hose, rinse it off. Make sure I don't have any on my skin. <laughs> okay, there we go. Number two, coming at you. Let's see what happens here. Spread it out real quick. Get the ends, top. Let's hit the other side real quick. Okay. And once again, you can probably see that changing colors already. It's amazing. Stuff's awesome. No sanding. I've seen guys put varnish and sickens on their swim platforms and their trim and then they have to sand it all off and it's a nightmare. I do not know if this will take sickens off like I said. If it can, I'm going to test it out. Look at this. Okay, I didn't scrub the back real good. I don't care. That's going to be up against the council. All right, look at that. All right, that particular piece is done. It's that fast. I just like to get a good rinse at the end here. Yeah, and it's going to go ahead and dry a blonde, golden, it will be golden tea. I 
My arm's burning a little. I think I got a little on my arm. Okay, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and set this to dry. Okay, everyone. Yep, teak's all clean, ready to go. We're going to go ahead and start putting some coatings on it. All right, except, you know, I've been checking all the pieces just to make sure everything's done properly. You know, these hatches, I notice, and this happens with the ends of the woods, but I don't know if you can see this. But see how golden it is, even up front here? Well, on the edges, the ends of the, the teak planks here, it's kind of dark. I did a little sanding there, you can see. But it's kind of dark. See the top's half? All right. So I went ahead, instead of trying to wash this thing, I scrubbed both ends really well. And this one here, so what I did was, hopefully we had a good focus on that, but what I did... Give me a second here. I'm going to try to get a better shot. Apologize. All right, so what I did, I sanded this, all right? Now, can you see these grains? They're totally exposed now. It looks kind of cool, all right? But there is a darkness to this side, okay? And um, I'm not sure I can get rid of it. But anyway, sanding it, does bring out some character even though it's a little darker on these edges it's a hatch cover that sits down anyway and you're only going to see it when it's opened but this particular side you can see hopefully you can let me spin it around to get the same light now this side i have not sanded yet just partially so you'll see these grains will all open up. Just a heads up, after you clean this stuff, you might have to do a little touch up here and there. Well, hey, thanks for watching the show. Hope you learned something. And uh, next episode, we're gonna go ahead and coat this teak. We're gonna start putting some coatings on it. We're gonna bring it back to life, get this stuff ready to be put back on the boat. So thanks for watching, and once again, please subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. Click the like button. If you have any comments, good, bad, ugly, go ahead and put them in, in there, and I'll respond to you.